victim was killed by a gunshot. A small fragment of a Japanese blade isn't relevant to the case. It is relevant to Gregson's case. His metal case. Haha. <laughs> See what I did there? My lord, the defense requests that the defendant be allowed to speak. He may be privy to important information relating to the testimony just given by the witness. Very well. I'll make an exception and grant the request. The defendant may remain in the witness stand for the cross-examination. Then allow me to toast the court's impartiality. Don't wait to get you in there. Don't raise your glass in my direction, sir. Counsel for the defense, begin the course examination immediately. Slap those cheeks. At once, my lord. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> okay, so he's just chilling. He's just chilling with Gina. Okay, so my guess then, if he's if he's here, is that we're gonna get him to react to stuff. Okay, uh. Press that. Names of victims, dates, places, and stuff? What in particular? Well, besides the victim's names, this other name kept cropping up. What other name was that? It's the one I told you yesterday. The same name went over and over again. You mean... Asa Shin? Yeah, that's the one. She's a friend of yours or something, isn't she? I wouldn't say that. Were you, were you even listening yesterday? I didn't say anything of the sort. Also Shin. The assassin. What? Like... A killer, you mean? Gregson was the tactician, the one who came up with the plan of attack. He investigated the marks thoroughly, finding out when they would be vulnerable and who to use to get at, get at them. But the person actually executing his plans was someone else, you're saying? That would be Shen. If that's true, then the Reaper does indeed start to sound like an organized group of vigilantes. Ah, then perhaps what it said on the passport document. Permission for the applicant and one additional person to travel. Could that additional person have been? Ah, uh, probably a uh, Shen. But she's dead. Clearly the assassin who was meant to take Seishiro Jigoku's life. But she's... Pet weenie slap. But I guess since she was dead, um... That would mean uh, Gregson would have to take it into his own hands, and that's probably why he failed, because he's no assassin. Gina, can you confirm that? Against the final entry that listed Grouse and Seishiro Jigoku? What name was written? Oh, well, that's the only entry that didn't have a name next to it, as it happens. What? It was just that, like a question mark or something there, I think. Interesting. In other words, Gregson himself didn't know the identity of the assassin in that case. But... Gregson was the one making the plans, was he not? Oh! How infuriating! Grrr! A nameless assassin. It's gotta be her. Okay, let's hear about that. And you're saying that the mark listed was Seishiro Jigoku? That's why I said, that's what it said. Funny name if you ask me. Funny Japanese name. And I thought your name was odd. Aha. So please have lost my crown there. <laughs> Mr. Jigoku is the presiding judge of Japan's Supreme Court of Judicature. I remember the man. He came to our country as a visiting student 16 years ago. It must have been important for you to remember that long ago. Studying international law and diplomacy under your tutelage, Lord Strongheart. That bearded young fellow was a very able man, I must say. So Lord Strongheart was Judge Goku's mentor. Interesting. That's how, I guess that's how he knows. If I'm not mistaken, he returned to Japan ten years ago now. Ten years ago, after that fateful case. Precisely, in the aftermath of the Professor case, his repatriation was organized immediately. I want to know why he was targeted, and where he is now. It's a mystery why such a man would be listed in the inspector's notebook. 
I didn't think it was possible, but the moon in air's got even worse now. Maybe I'll just keep talking. <laughs> Go ahead, Gina. The floor is yours. Okay, oh, that's right. He, he was a criminal that got away from the Reaper in court ten years ago or something. Ten years ago? That's the same time as the Professor case. What do you mean a criminal? Judge Goku is no criminal. Well, don't ask me. I don't know nothing about it. Oh. Do you remember what Father told us? Oh, yeah. That Judge Goku did once appear in court here in Britain. It was related to the Professor case, I'm sure. Yes, of course, you're right. But if, if, it seemed like it was something pretty minor, though. Let me see, he's gonna remind us. Seishiro was trying to mitigate Genshin's guilt, so he took to the stand to testify. But he got a little carried away and, um, actually managed to break the witness stand. Yeah. Okay, it's probably not like a minor thing, but it wasn't like he killed anyone, or... He also had some contemptuous wor Yeah, contemptuous words about the British Empire for which he was charged. I might get in trouble with the government. It was a pitiful situation, yes. I'd forgotten all about it. But I prosecuted that trial too, as it happens. Oh, did you? Y you did? It was considered to be an adjunct to the professor proceedings, you see? But he was acquitted after being told to make reparation for the damage caused to the stand. And there you have it. Have what? I don't get what you're talking about. Surely the accused hasn't forgotten his own rule. That there's no saving anyone who faces the Reaper in court. Guilty or innocent alike. What? No! Are, are you suggesting that the reason Judge Goku was targeted for assassination was because he went up against uh, Van Zykes? The man was sent back to Japan immediately after that trial. The Reaper had no time to do his work. But then, ten years later... The Mark returns to Britain once more, and now he can take him out. Perhaps now you start to see just how vindictive the Reaper is. That's wild. Come on, that's absurd. To take someone's life for that? Yeah, that's like a very minor thing. Isn't the whole premise of the Reaper absurd, killing those who have been found innocent? Clearly the rules by which the man operates are beyond the sane person's comprehension. It is wild, and it makes sense you would suspect, um... What's his face? Van Zykes? Because I, I don't understand. If it's not Van Zykes, which I'm assuming it isn't, I don't know why the Reaper would be exclusively talk, uh, you know, targeting people that Van Zykes, you know, um, prosecuted or that escaped his grasp. You know, it makes perfect sense that it would be uh, Van Zykes. But what else, why would it be? Like, why would it be exclusive? If it was some outside vigilante... Why would they just be targeting specifically people related to Van Zyke's trials? But... The boss, boss didn't do none of it. He was just investigating the Reaper, that's all. Okay, I did these three, right? Let's just do this last part. So you have complete faith that Inspector Gregson is innocent of all of this? Of course I do! I mean... I owe him that, don't I? Because he's the only one what had faith in me! Gina... The boss promised me he did! He promised me that even though I was just a diver, he could turn me into a top-notch detective! A cove with a good art that ain't gonna do, go and rob people of their fortune, is he? I mean, you still kinda do that, but... Every single person killed by the Reaper was a criminal of the First Order. Low life like that have no compunction about robbing hundreds of others of their futures. Eh? Oh, don't, don't make her angry. Their ludicrous acquittals in court give them the freedom to make hundreds more suffer. I, I don't... So what? You justified your actions because you were protecting innocent people's futures? I'm not suggesting that the Reaper's methods are justified at all. But life isn't black and white. That's all I'm saying. Uh, Gina's losing it. So that's what we have to work with. It may help us that Lord Van Zykes is in the stand too. Yes, perhaps. 
I'm sure Gina knows nothing she already hasn't told us. Or she hasn't already told us. There's no point trying to get more out of her. Did you notice how Cosmo-sama reacted to Lord Van Zyke's words? When you called him an even more sinister reaper, you mean? Well, I'm sure Cosmo intends to eliminate any shred of doubt that the man is guilty. He's looking for revenge against the person he considers to be his father's killer, after all. I do worry that if we fail to find a discrepancy in this testimony somewhere, the trial may end and abdication won't go in our favor. Let's listen carefully again what everybody is saying. Okay, there's only one more thing I have to press. In other words, it shows that Gregson was basically acting as the Reaper. Not you at all. That ain't the only explanation, is it? Uh, he could have been investigating the Reaper in secret, and that notebook said what he found. Found out. If I may. When originally people began referring to me as the Reaper, I didn't object. I believe the power to intimidate London's criminal classes are complicit. Compliance with the law to be beneficial. But you carried out your own investigations into the true identity, identity of the Reaper, didn't you? Yes. And those investigations prove conclusively that Gregson was one arm of the Reaper. Just one. One arm? What do you want about? He's got... I've got I wonder how many people are part of this. The Reaper's victims were all ext extremely shrewd criminals at the top of their game. Simply no way one person could have taken them on alone. The Reaper is an organization with you at its head. I didn't say that. I had spies at the yard keeping me out abreast of Gregson's movement, letting me know when he was elsewhere. So I've been able to check the most recent entry in his book. I knew the location. You knew it said Grouse? Believing it to be a ref reference to the gentleman's club, I went there on the day in question to investigate alone. Okay, so he was there. Ah, so that explains why several members of the club claimed to have seen you there. But of course, the inspector was not there. Because at the time, he was making his way to the steamship docked on the northern coast of France. As shown by the passport found in the victim's metal trunk. Very well then, back to your testimony about the contents of this notebook. Fine. Something wrong, Mr. Narahodo? You seemed a little shocked by something a moment ago. Oh, no, it's, it's all right. I'm overthinking this, aren't I? I don't, okay. Good. I was, ho I was hoping it would just move on because I had no idea what to do next. What, I've had just about enough of this. We were just gathering info. Gina? All this nonsense about the boss planning to kill people. It's cobblers. Come on, Odo! Aren't you on my side? Yes. I got nothing. Why ain't you saying nothing? Why? Why aren't you yelling out objection or summit? What? You've got to find a floor. You do usually. I mean, I am defending Van Zyke here. I'm not. I'm not defending Gregson's innocence. She just doesn't want to accept the truth, which is sad. Because she looked up to him so much. Someone's lying here, no question. You gotta work out who it is. I mean, she might be right. I kind of hope she's right. Please, for the boss. The question is, who's lying? That outburst was an insult to the court and to your own testimony. I might have known that a common pickpocket from the black back slums couldn't make a detective. Ah, Leave her alone. When this trial is over, you will forfeit your warrant card, Miss Lestrade? Is that clear? Uh, uh. I've had it with the lot of ya. It lies every bleeding place you look in this world, innit? Well, I've had enough. Oh, she's had, she's had such a hard lot in life, you know? Like, even in the last game, she's come a long way since where she was then. I remember she had, she could, she had a very hard time trusting people. Especially because, you know, she was used a bunch in that game. Gina? So have I. After that little speech of Gina's, I've made up my mind. To do what, Mr. Narahodo? There was one point in this cross-examination where something that was said just didn't sit right with me. One statement that seemed odd. It must have had to do with that, that last uh, statement I pressed. 
Because Ryanosuke specifically mentioned that something was off. Oh, do, do you mean? I'm not going to let Gina's plea for help fall on deaf ears. Okay. It was this one. It was when I pressed here. Well, let me let me press this uh, last one here. Let's do this, Gina. You and me. I want to thank you, Gina. You helped me find my resolve. That's the name of this chapter and this game. Eh? What do you mean? Amongst everything we've heard during this cross-examination, there's one thing that defies explanation. One inconsistency. What? An inconsistency? Really, Odo? I don't quite know what it means yet, but... Yes, there's an inconsistency in something that was said by... Shoot. <laughs> okay, well, my options are limited, because it's somebody who's speaking here, so it could only be... Gina, which I'm assuming it's not. Um, Van Zykes, or Strongheart. Hmm... Well, I guess a Kazuma as well. I'm gonna say Van Zykes. He was doing a lot of talking during that part, right? Uh... Take that. Of course. By you, Lord Van Zykes. Me? What? Your face has turned ashen. How could he know is what you're thinking. I have a feeling I'm wrong. If my face has turned ashen, it's because I'm thinking. How could he? I don't know where you're going with this, but... Maybe the evidence you're obviously about to show the court will clarify. In that case, the defense will present evidence to substantiate its claim. To which piece of evidence does this alleged inconsistency relate? Oh, damn it. <laughs> I thought I was... I, do... I honestly don't know. I noticed the little health bar thing isn't blinking at the top anymore. Oh, this is- oh, actually, it stopped right- This is the part I was talking about where he said, Is something wrong, Mr. Nohoto? You seemed a little shocked, shocked by something a moment ago. Oh, no, it's alright. I'm overthinking this, aren't I? That's the part I was talking about. And then that's where Gina chimed in with objection. Uh, if only we could go a little bit further up. I'd be able to see what was said right before that. Damn it. Uh... I should've- I should've looked over... The testimony again. I might just have to guess, take the L, and then uh, figure it out again. Cause I let me think. What could it be? I'm trying to think. What were we discussing? I mean, this is a picture that has Jagoku in it. We were, we were talking about him. I honestly don't know. Take that. I had hoped not to have to present this evidence, but you leave me no choice. What do you say to this, Lord Van Zykes? I'm sure nothing. If I think I'm an idiot, your feelings were correct. Presenting that evidence was a mistake. I suggest you withdraw it. Sorry? Good advice. Because you've, t you've turned at decidedly ashen. Oh, damn it all. I only hope the Reaper doesn't hold that against you. Ugh. Fingers crossed. I think this line of argument has run its course. I said you learn from your mistakes before you make a fatal one in the eye of the Reaper. Ugh. I better listen very carefully to the testimony again. So based on how that played out, I think I was right. Because when... When I had to choose, how much am I call it? When I had to choose, who, you know, who, who said the lie or the inconsistency or whatever, and I chose Van Zykes, it had the little health bar blinking up there. And then I chose him, and I didn't lose any health, but it made me, you know, pick the evidence. So basically, I, I went through that whole thing and didn't lose any health. 
So I think I was right in choosing Van Zykes. Especially since they made a point to say, like, it's a good thing he's up here. Okay. Like I said, I'm gonna press this again. I'm gonna listen carefully now. Specifically to what Van Zyke said. But let's, 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 I'm just gonna read the whole thing. Sorry about that, guys. I had a little bit of an interruption. Right as I was trying to figure this all out. My, the, all the power went out. <laughs> the whole house. So I was like, oh, great. I guess I'm done for tonight. But then, like, five, ten minutes later, it flipped back on, so... I am back, but before I started the recording, I kind of wanted to rack my brain a little bit because I was really confused. And it, I, it seems like I was, I think I am on the right track. I think it was on the completely wrong assumption. Because I was, I was trying to, I was trying to figure out what Van Zykes was lying about. But I think it was Asagi who we have to go after. I'm gonna try presenting to him and see what happens. Oh, the music stopped. That's a good sign. I forget if that happened before. By you, Kazuma Asagi. Kazuma Asagi. <laughs> Me. Was this some attempt at filibustering council? Prosecutor Asagi is giving new testimony. That is true. But he was talking. What are you suggesting? I said that was inconsistent. You let something slip that you shouldn't have. When I present the relevant piece of evidence, I imagine you realize what you've done. Very well then, counsel. Go ahead. What evidence reveals this alleged inconsistency in something Prosecutor Osagi has said? I think it has to do with either the passport or the trunk, because I think Osagi said something what was it? He said something about going, about like, Gregson was on his way to France. But I don't know if the, the timing adds up to what Van Dykes was saying in his testimony. But you know, I think, I, I rewatched that bit of the testimony again. He actually, when Cosmo was talking, he actually presented the passport. So I think it might be the trunk. I don't know if my reasoning is sound, but let's give it a shot. Oh, something's happening. This this is a trunk that belonged to Inspector Gregson. A metal construction, is it? It's certainly very heavy. What's this? A blood stain and a relatively fresh one too. Dun dun dun. What? You you mean I didn't grease from all the bosses fresh and chips? It's fine, because I did. I did invest. I did inspect the trunk further because the first time I inspected the trunk, I missed that, and I also missed there was a there was a piece of metal where we examined that scratch on the side of the trunk. There was a piece of metal stuck in it, but the um, you know the actual uh, details description. That's what I'm. Looking, the actual description of the evidence didn't change, so it's kind of like oh well, if I it doesn't change anything. It's not that important, but they're about to go into it now. That suggests that the victim was traveling with that luggage when he was killed. That can't be. There was no mention of any trunk in Scotland Yard's report. Yes, there's a reason for that. Immediately after the inspector's body was discovered, one of the street peddlers made off with the trunk. Hoping to sell it. That's right, that was a sandwich, right? Well, I found it. Me, with my nose for trouble. Huh. Which means that nobody should have known anything about the trunk. But Aunt Kazuma did. Is that what we're getting at? Unless, of course, we're talking about somebody who was present when the victim was killed. And yet, during the cross-examination of the witness just now, you said this, Kazuma. Because of the time, he was making his way to the steamship docked on the northern coast of France. Yeah, that's the exact part I was talking about. But I think my reasoning was a bit off. <laughs> what else is new? As shown by the passport found in the victim's metal trunk. Oh, he knew the passport was in the trunk. I got it. Yeah, my, <laughs> my reasoning was a bit off, but... So the question is, how did you know about the inspector's trunk? Oh, damn it, hole. We know the man went on a trip to France. Where else would he have put his passport? Objection. 
But how did you know about the trunk at all, right? Because it wasn't at the crime scene. Yeah, but you knew it was a metal trunk. Answer me honestly, Kazuma. On the 31st of October, where exactly were you? Is there a chance my my earlier theory is correct? Are we going to find out that Kazuma is actually the Reaper? At the port of Dunkirk on board the SS Grouse. He was there. Is that the answer you're looking for, Ryanosuke? Uh, Kazuma, what did you... Okay, is he admitting to it? I hadn't considered the possibility before, but... If Kazuma was there on the ship, then... It can only have been for one purpose. Oh no, Mr. Narahodo! Surely... Surely you don't think I might be right. <laughs> Come on, Ryanosuke! You know the rules! The only thing that really talks in the courtroom is hard evidence. Do I have evidence, though? As I understand it, Inspector Gregson always took that case with him when he traveled. So, as it stands, you've proved nothing. Kazuma... Are you challenging me to prove it, beyond all reasonable doubt? That you were there that day, in the same place as the Inspector? He... He was there, with Gregson. There's a clue that you've overlooked. A secret that trunk can tell us. I can't be sure at this point. I'll need to verify it. But I have a nasty feeling that I'm going to be right. The accusation being made is deeply disturbing. But nevertheless, we must test it. The defense will identify for the court where in the trunk this alleged clue is to be found. Oh boy. I'm gonna guess. I don't know. I'm not. Okay, I have a guess. Okay, yes, let's look inside, please. It's not the papers itself. I'm gonna assume it's this piece of metal lodged on the side here. I don't know how. What would that be? It's the only thing that makes sense, though, to me. That's what I'm getting at. We already pointed out the blood stain and the papers. That's the only thing that's left. Is this little metal bit. Let me see what happens if I... St you see that? There's something stuck in the side of the trunk there. It's glinting. It looks like a fragment of metal of some sort. Oh, there's a sword? But it's wedged in so tightly I can't remove it. Well, don't cut yourself. You better leave it, I think. Could it be a sword? From a sword? I'm gonna try it. I wanna make sure that I'm selecting the right thing. Here we go! It's gotta be that, right? There's a small piece of metal lodged in the wall of the trunk here. Like the tip of a blade. It, A blade? Kazuma, slung around your waist as ever today, is the esteemed blade Karama. Can he show it to us? He has two blades there. Of course it is. Won't you draw it here in this courtroom? For all to see? You know what? I don't feel like it. Suck it, Ryanosuke. He just jumps over and just cuts my head off. Exercise caution, my learned friend. That man is the son of London's most notorious killer. And possibly a killer himself. Bailiff! What fought you to like a hawk? That won't be necessary. Let's have a look. Uh, is it chipped? Oh no! The tip is broken. It's hard to tell, but yes, I'll take your word for it. It definitely looked like bent. If the fragment of metal from the trunk fits together with the end of the sword, the question of who was there with Inspector Gregson will be answered. And you attacked him. Agreed, Kazuma Asuki? Kazuma Asuki? I can't say his name for some reason. Oh my gosh, it's getting good. Expertly done, Ryanosuke. That's a point to you, and well deserved. Do you mean to tell the court, Prosecutor Osagi? Yes, on the 31st of October, I accompanied Inspector Gregson to Dunkirk. Also, he was the... the second person. In order to carry out a mission. So the additional person authorized to travel... That was you. Was me. And the mission was... The assassination of the Mark. I knew it! You are part of the Reapers! What? 
You mean you're the killer whose name was omitted from this notebook? You were following the Reaper's orders to this past Judge Jigoku? Let me make one thing perfectly clear. I have killed no one. Explain! I wonder... I wonder with What's-Her-Face dead, she, we know Shin was the assassin, but with her dead, did Gregson, like... What do you call it? Did Gregson come to uh, Kazuma and maybe uh, ask him if he could join him and to carry out the mission? I don't know. I accepted the assassination mission, yes. And I accompanied Gregson to Dunkirk. But I never had any intention of carrying out the plan. I always wanted to be there. You were never going to do it? We can believe Cosmo some, I'm sure. I don't know, I'm a bit I'm a bit shaky right now. I don't know who to trust. After all, Judge Goku arrived safely in London the following day. Oh, maybe he thwarted the plan, that's why it failed. Right? Like because you know Gregson was trying to kill Jigoku, but maybe Cosmo stopped it. Maybe there was a, a battle there. Hmm. On the 31st, I boarded a train from London with Inspector Gregson. We traveled to Dover, from where we crossed the channel to Dunkirk. Then we boarded the SS Grouse and made for the cabin deck, as indicated in the plan. You went to Judge Jigoku's cabin? Exactly. He wasn't there, though. We decided to wait, but... They've already told us you had no intention of going through with it anyway. I didn't come to Great Britain to take anyone's life. So I left Gregson and disembarked the ship. I spent that night at a boarding house on the town, and returned to England the following morning. Okay. A boarding house? In Dunkirk? Why though? My signature will be in the register book. It would be simple enough to verify. Then, what became of Jigoku? Gregson was no assassin, so the mark was spared. I'm sure it's easy enough to imagine what happened after that. Gregson returned to England as well, having failed to complete the mission. He met with the Reaper in that room on Fresno Street to report the failure. Oh, that's supposed to be Van Zyke's outline, right? <laughs> I was trying to see if they were actually showing the outline of who the actual Reaper was. But I think that's just Van Zyke. They're using Van Zyke's, because this is Cosmo's telling of it. Causing the infuriated mastermind to pull the trigger. No, Gregson! And end his wretched agent's life. Yeah, that's supposed to be Gre uh, uh, Van Zyke's outline. That's the real truth behind Inspector Gregson's murder. Objection! Objection! Oh, he's pissed. But if you did nothing as you claim, how did the tip of your sword come to be lodged in the inspector's trunk? That, you still haven't answered. Ask and answered. I don't need to answer that. You kind of do. It's kind of vital. The victim was killed by a gunshot. A small fragment of a Japanese blade isn't relevant to the case. It is relevant to Gregson's case. His metal case. Haha. <laughs> See what I did there? And accordingly, I chose to exercise my right to silence on that matter. What does the judge have to say? Be that as it may, the court will sequester the sword as evidence. As you wish, my lord. The great sword Karama, the illustrious blade passed down through generations of the Asuki clan. The prize swords tip as a small piece missing. We must take immediate action now! Kill him. Okay, now let's uh, check the sword. I make sure I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Oh, that's a cool hilt. Oh, there's something on the this part of the sword, I think. So I have to say, Karma, the Great Blade. It's just a thing of beauty. I I meant to I want to gaze on it for hours. Okay, let's just take the sheath off. Can we know about the tip already? Take a closer look. Okay, I see what they're saying. The very tip, like it obviously is supposed to be pointed. The tip of the great sword broken. It's such a shame. It's been so meticulously cared for over the years. I can almost hear Karama's sobs. <laughs> My precious sword. Okay, calm down. Kazuma must have really taken a swing for that to happen. Anything on the sheath itself that might be? 
Okay, here's the cool, uh, whatchamacallit, bands that fly in the wind. Okay, I think that's really it. I think. I feel like there's a lot to check out, but... Okay, I think that's it. For now. To verify whether Shishiro Jigoku remains unharmed. What? Re remains unharmed? Yeah, we should check up on him. I agree, that should be our first priority. It's recently come to my attention that he hasn't been seen since yesterday. But how did you... Yeah, we haven't seen him, so I'm worried. When a foreign dignitary invited the Great Britain goes missing for 24 hours, it's only natural that the question of his safety should arise. You don't mean to say... Do you think Judge Goku may have been killed? Oh, he better not have. The Reaper has more than one assassin at his disposal. And he has the power and influence to give orders from the inside of a prison cell. Isn't that right, Lord Van Zykes? You really think so? Bull crap! If it were truly the Reaper, I'd be able to tell you. Now be quiet, I'm drinking my apple ju my grape juice, rather. Order! Order in the court! Order! We will take an emergency recess for 30 minutes! Now? It's getting good! Guests of the symposium have been told to maintain regular contact with the organizer's office. If the man can't be located within half an hour, we will have to assume the worst. Oh no! Not Judge Goku. No one wants to kill a harmless Japanese man who'd only just arrived in the country. Except, that is, I know, the Reaper. For the Reaper, want to finish off a mark that slipped through the net ten years ago. I would have to agree. Mr. Navajoto, for the defense's sake. My lord? I sincerely hope we are successful. Me too. If we're unable to confirm Mr. Jigoku's healthy existence in the next 30 minutes, you will face grave difficulties. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Court is adjourned for 30 minutes. Are we going into a to be continued? Uh, what's happening? Kazuma-sama, the Reaper's assassin. I feel as though I'm in a nightmare. I can hardly believe it either, but on the other hand, Kazuma isn't in the habit of making up stories. I have such a terrible sense of foreboding. Yeah, I really don't know. I keep going back and forth on Kazuma. He seemed like such a logical choice to be the Reaper, but I'm not I'm not 100% sold on it. And I think if we're talking about who's like the leader, I'm still, my, my, my money's still on maybe, um, Strongheart. If something awful has happened to Judge Goku, then I feel as though things will only spiral further and further out of control. Ring on the music. I, I felt it from the moment I stepped into the courthouse this morning. That strange sensation that we were careering, yeah, careering towards a foregone conclusion. Well, in the worst case, we might only have 30 minutes left. Unfortunately, though, I don't think there's anything we can do, but wait now. We're out of options. I was gonna say, can you imagine the next part is just 30 minutes? We lose, and then the game's over. <laughs> Actually, there may be one last hand we can play. Or rather, one last ear. Ah. Of course. I didn't forget about that. Don't don't worry. The little, the little Mr. Shorm's doll that Iris gave us. In case of emergency, basically. If for some reason you completely run out of options in the trial today, then just pull this little Hurley's ears as hard as you possibly can. There must be some kind of secret compartment. Some kind of definitive evidence in there. Taps now is the time? What should I do? Pull Hurley's ear or not? When in doubt, pull! Here goes then. I'm going to do it. Good luck, Mr. Narahodo. I mean, it's, it's not that hard. No looking back. Heave! Ow! Uh, what? That was a rabbit talking? That scream sounded like Mr. Sholmes. M Mr. Sholmes? Where are you? Here, my dear fellow. Here. Oh, is it like a communication device? It's... It's the felt doll talking. 
Pull the ears again, Mr. Narahodo. As hard as you can. Rip them off. All right, then. I'll put all my strength into it. Heave. Ow. Please, my dear fellows. You don't need to pull my ear off. Where is he? Mr. Sholmes, where, where are you? Myself and my trusty partner. All the... Are presently in the first class cabin area of the SS Grouse. The SS Grouse? She left Dover last night after the final pieces of cargo were loaded. We are currently docked at Dunkirk, but due to be underway again in half an hour. You've taken a ship to France? Oh, wouldn't it be cool if we like switch over to Sholmes now and we get to like investigate here? Please, even with my athletic prowess, I would struggle to jump the Straits of Dover. After we left Baker Street last night, we hurried by cab to the station and by train to the port. In order to board this vessel in time. So, you mean... You'd already worked it out? That the steamship was where everything really took place? Mr. Narihoto, pray what is my name? Uh, Sholmes. Sherlock Sholmes, world famous great detective. And don't you forget it. Recite it to perfection, well done. You're a genius, Mr. Sholmes. That's the only word for it. Ow, ow. My ear! Ow, 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 ow! Miss Suzato, gently with this genius's ear, please! Oh my, I'm, I'm ever so sorry! So he has a little, uh, the iris doll. Is this, uh, Mikotoba, if I may, Sholmes? Ah, there you are, Mikotoba! Wait, am I playing as... You may remember that it was I, in, in fact, I who made the connection to the SS Grouse. At Scotland Yard yesterday when we examined that notebook and I recalled my steamship ticket. Oh, ha 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 ha. But of course it was, my dear fellow. And not once did I con con controvert that fact. I merely had a court bound companion to utter my name. Yes, you did, didn't you? We just entered a recess. The trial resumes in 30 minutes from now. And if we're unable to present any new leads, then I'm afraid to say. Do not fret, please. It's for precisely that purpose that my partner and I have made this journey. I have no doubt we shall have welcome news for you within the half hour. Thank you, Mr. Sholmes. That will be wonderful. Until later, then. Yes. You'll be hearing from us if you're not in touch first. Ow, 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 ow. I shan't be hearing anything if you tug in my ear in that, that mindless fashion. Aha. Whatever was the idea behind making a receiver operated in that way in the first place, Sholmes? Seems kind of stupid, if you ask me. Why the deuce would I know? It's Iris' invention, not mine. Okay, you know what we're gonna do, guys? I, I think that's the case, because I think we're actually now taking over as Mikotoba. I think he's our, we're, he's our protagonist now, and I, I have a feeling we're gonna do some investigating. Which is the first? Investigating as somebody else during a trial, but that's what I'm guessing is about to happen. And that's kind of awesome. And then we'll uncover some uncover some clues. We'll be able to relay the information to Ryanosuke and help him in the during the trial. So that's really cool. But it's getting late. And again, with I had that little blackout earlier. I lost some time as well. So, uh, yeah. That seems like as good a time as I need to stop it. It's really good. It's uh, getting intense. I don't know what to feel about Kazuma. I keep going back and forth whether I think he's the Reaper or not. But I'm starting to think... Uh, it's just a guess at this point, but Strongheart seems like a powerful enough figure. Like, he might be the one pulling the strings. He's the head honcho, if it were, as, as it were. So, lots to still uncover. Rinosuke is very desperate. So hopefully Sholmes and Mikotova can pull through. But with that, we'll end things here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please uh, hit the like button and uh, the notification bell so you know when more videos go up. Subscribe to the channel. And of course, share the video on the channel with your friends, family, and loved ones. I really do appreciate you guys. I hope you are enjoying the finale thus far, and I'll see you next time. So take care, and bye bye